why making excuses. We all are being the victim until then let somebody make jokes about your suffering. Live you stupid and dirty. Say that your life don't matter at all. Say that your suffering is normal and acceptable. Oh yes, that it is okay to take some of your family members or, or you. Take them by their feet, hang them upside down and cut their throats. You think there is nothing funny about it, is it not? Who have to do it with your family members? But this, how we pigs, how chickens, how cows are being treated on a daily basis. And people make fun of it constant to vegans like me. How an apathetic nitwit are you? Look yourself in the, in the eyes. And you also don't like to watch it, is it not? Most people don't like to watch the world full of food. Make not so fine. It's not so fine to see what kind of horrors you are being responsible for, is it not? I know why most people do it. It is because of traditions, beliefs and habits. There are the main basic reasons we are all called around. We really, let's be clear. Traditions, beliefs and habits are also the reasons for misogyny. So, oh, traditions, beliefs and habits were also the reason for slavery and a lot of other things burning witches hate against Jews so a long time people have done that what I mean with that that's something is a tradition, beliefs and habits. It's a terrible excuse for continuing with this tradition. I don't want to be necessarily your enemy. Maybe you have to, if you force me. But I am not necessarily your enemy. I want to bring you in contact with your conscience again so that you can watch things from the position of the victim and go vegan because I understand something you all understand basic uh, parts of um, with me right and wrong because most of you hate people who harm children Hate people who harm a woman and rape them. So why, or also some, if it means a dog or a cat, you hate the people that harm them. So what's the difference between one pig, one turkey, another animal? Oh, that's simple. They don't want the abuse. They want that it ends. And you can do that. You can play one part in the abolishing of their suffering and the problems that their family members then after that have to force go and end the cycle. The cycle of why I have to stop on some place. This chain has to stop for one place. 
being there to start, being there radical to go into the other position, but stop it. Radicals, the uh, term radical is in this time and age, in a lot of countries, being something not so uh, good. But what radical means, technically, is um, a radical, the word radical comes from the word root, and what one root person do is he goes to the root of a problem and stop the root um, by stopping to give what to do it and put their finger on the problem instead that we walk around like politicians do and hope that uh, somebody um, see the problem by not putting on the problem The root people say, there's the problem, there is it, look to it. Politicians say, there is a problem, but where is the problem? <laughs> I want not to show you, <laughs> that's what a politician do. <laughs> I've been not a politician, I tell you directly if I see it, and I say, you worry be. And I say you, what's the problem? I mean, it stands, what's the, where's the problem? <laughs> yeah. All animals on this planet are not ours to take. In contrary with religion's dogma and the misguided media system and the deceitful public relation and their politician cohorts. All animals have been there for their own reasons. Just like women are not on this planet for man and black people be not on this planet to serve white men. All animals have been there for their own reason. And even yell yeah, as a even nature deserve not to be uh, polluted by human actions. Nature also deserves not that we uh, needless destroy an um, extremely amount of rainforest to make place for animal feed. At least 80 um, yeah, at least 91% of the rainforest is cut for animal feed and for place where animals can grass. Big and small agriculture. And cattle ranching. If you are not a victim, don't imagine it entirely from your point of view. Because if you are not the victim, it becomes pretty easy to mark your victims, make fun of their entire existence. Say that their life don't matter at all. But when you are the victim, things look a lot different from that angle. Because you understand right from wrong. And that's what I want to learn you, people. We have to stop playing dipshits. We have to stop giving a fuck about victimizers, giving a fuck about rapists, murderers, child abusers, companies of big, uh, um, CEOs of big companies. I have the lawyers in their baggage, and how pollute the environment and the future of this planet. We have to give a fuck about the victims. Peace begins on the dinner table.
Not by playing lip service to all the injustice of the world. Saying, ah, oh, I've been so opposed to um, America's um, putting bombs on Iraq houses. Or something like that. Or being so opposed to the war in the Middle East. Oh wow, all these sad people in Africa. And then eat you, then you eat the, your steak. Or the steak that is made from one other victim. And being the reason that the children in the first place starve of starvation. 70% of all the food on this planet is feeds to livestock. It's not feed to humans. Even the America Council for Technology and Science, and the America Council for Agriculture and Science, acknowledge that America can feed 10 billion humans. The only thing that have helped to happen is anybody have to go vegan? America, the most wasteful country on the planet, have only around something like 5% of the human population. But they consume 20% of the animals killed for food. One acre of land can provide something like between around 40 pounds of tomatoes um, 50 pounds of potatoes and something like Yes, but something only about something like um, hundred fifty to maximum two thousand and uh, two hundred five hundred two hundred fifty uh, kilogram uh, pound of uh, meat. That is because the cost from 20 um, times more land 30 times more water and a lot of more geo uh, and also uh, 10 times more um, Fossil fuel to um, make animal products uh, and costs uh, to provide um, vegan culture than um, meat eating culture. In other words, meat eating societies are the most biggest problem on this planet. And societies that are being eating last animal products are causing less problems to this planet. In other words, they have to go a change. You can be the change. Any meat there in egg eater you can change something that is far beyond you. To provide one pound of meat, you, to create one pound of meat, you need something like uh, 2,500 gallons of water. You need um, 18 pounds of plant products. You need something like 5.5 feet of rainforest. Yes, and you produce probably something like uh, 80, 80, 80 kilo, or a kilo, k 
kilograms of uh, CO2 and you put that in the atmosphere. That's how much it costs people. You can drive a number as a vegan and you still not waste and uh, produce so much CO2 as a meat eater. Step in 2017. Awaken and decide to become vegan. What's the excuse for causing the least amount of harm, suffering, destruction on this planet? And don't play lips, uh, don't play games with me. With a oh, vegan cousin, also a little bit, also a problem on this planet. Use your fucking mind. Vegans, how you want to put it, always cost less harm than meat eaters. Check me, mate. I win. You lose. Gulvi, screw you. <laughs>